What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back you guys. So a couple days ago we asked on our Instagrams for you to send in any questions that you would like for me to answer. Okay, so today I'll be exposing Erica. She hasn't seen any of the questions, but it's gonna get juicy. Oh Some boy. really good questions. Okie dokie. Are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you nervous? No one judged me from any of these answers. Yeah, you can't judge. Yeah. Judge free zone. You ready? I'm ready, I guess. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm gonna be... You gotta be completely honest. 100% honest with everybody. So don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. First question. Have you ever thought about leaving me for somebody else? No. Don't lie. No. Why would I ever think about leaving you? Alright. Alright. Why would I ever think about leaving you? Alright, you're right. Have you thought about leaving me? No. Never. Yeah. Alright, second question. You ready? Mm-hmm. Do you ever think about your ex? I think about how <laughs> thankful I am. <laughs> Oh, you scared me. <laughs> no, I do, I do not think about my ex. I, I think about how thankful I am that they are my ex. Alright. That was a good answer. It's true. <laughs> Alright. Did you ever consider college after high school for cheer? Yes, I applied to a couple different colleges, but I ended up going to cosmetology school and staying at home. So, yeah, I considered it, but school was not my favorite thing. Right with you, go, girl. The only reason I wanted to go to college was for cheerleading. But I just decided to move on. Okay. 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 <laughs> when did you have your first boyfriend? Uh, 14. 14. Mm-hmm. You're a youngin'. 14 was my very first boyfriend. Okay. How long did you last? Wait, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. I take that back. That was like my first actual boyfriend. Like I had like boyfriends in like elementary school, middle school. Uh -huh. But I think my very first boyfriend that I ever had was in was in middle school. And I remember his name. His name was Devonte. Devonte. Alright. And, <laughs> and um, we used to like write notes and stuff back and forth to each other in class. And then uh, he hugged me once, but that's as far as I got. <laughs> I swear to you. Yeah, first base. That's not your first base. Yeah, we got a hug in. Alright. Alright, here's a good one. How old were you when you lost your V card? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be honest. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is weird. I have my parents don't want to. Okay, I was 14. And <laughs> before anyone judges me, I had a serious boyfriend. 14? <laughs> I was 14, yeah. Wow. How old are you? Uh, like 16? Really? <laughs> yeah. 17, maybe. <laughs> I had a serious boyfriend. No one judged that. Oh, people are gonna judge me. It's <laughs> alright, we're exposing you. <laughs> I thought you knew that. <laughs> alright, a lot of y'all asked this. Well, not really. Did you get a boob job? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> I did. <laughs> you gotta show them. <laughs> and it was the best decision I ever made. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I did. She didn't have none at first. <laughs> Just a little ant hills. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Baby! <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. Right. These are wild. <laughs> you need some water after that question. <laughs> mm -hmm. right, you ready? Yeah. This one's alright. What was your favorite year winning worlds? My favorite year. That would be hard. Um, Wouldn't it be your last one? I always used to say it was the first year in 2010 because it was like first time I had won first time like cheer stream had ever won worlds or anything but like now that I think about it probably my last year that I won worlds 
so 2013 because I was old enough to really understand like how important it was to me and we worked super super hard that year and we did not expect to win at all why not at all like the way they called out the um I'll have to show you the video the way they called out the placings was super weird they called out like I think it was like third place second place and then they had fourth and then first left so it was either like you got fourth or first so we were like freaking out and we did not think that we had one at all so like in our head we were like oh my god we got fourth and then when they like ah, it was crazy yeah so probably 2013. you and Skylar ever argue <laughs> <laughs> Yes, of course, we're human, but I have to say, we don't like really like, the only time we ever argue is because of me, and because I'm being like, just a brat. Yeah. We don't like- Whenever she does a good her way. We don't like, ar we don't have anything that we like. Tell them what our last argument was about, the sweet frog. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> our last argument was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> And it was because I'm pretty sure I was on my period, so that made it. Oh, was so that made it a little bit more extra. Um, but I really wanted sweet frog, <laughs> and um, I said you don't need it. He told me I didn't, I didn't need mean it. it in a bad way. I'm just saying. And usually, like I kn like I know he doesn't mean it in a bad way. Obviously, it's we know each other's goals, and so sweet frog was not in my. <laughs> That's not in my diet, and he was like, "You don't need it," and I was pissed. She flips shit. <laughs> I went to eat box so bad. <laughs> but we don't really argue about it. No. Just over stupid stuff. Mm. And he's he's literally never started an argument. <laughs> You're perfect. I'm not perfect. You're perfect. I wish I could be perfect. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, next question. Why did you and your ex break up? <laughs> um, a plethora of reasons. Um, it was not a healthy relationship at all. And because he is, I mean, I'm not trying to expose anyone, but he was a liar and cheater. That's why he broke up. And I think the good Lord for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that it? I mean, I could list the reasons all, all day right, long, okay, but okay. <laughs> that's the main. That's, that's the main reason. All right. <laughs> Do you miss cheering for your senior elite? Yes, of course. What do you miss about it? Um, I miss everything, but I'd say like the um the things I miss the most about cheering in general and senior elite was like the sisterhood that I had with my team and like always being with them throughout the week and whenever you're on a team like that you have like so many sisters it feels like and you just have such a close bond with everybody and i miss i miss goofing off at practices but i think my fate what i miss the most is competitions and like performing mm -hmm. and like getting all ready and i just I loved the thrill of competing and I have thought about going back and Don't get everybody's hopes up. I know. I thought about going back and being on the international team, but I don't know. I'm in better shape now than I was when I cheered, so I think it would be kind of fun to see if I could still do it. I love to see you cheer. I never get to see you cheer like competition. He watched me cheer in high school, but never. On the big stage. Mm -mm. What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, I had to really think about this. You told me lying, being lied to. Yeah, you. that's like my biggest. Yeah, so that's like my biggest thing in life, I would say. So more so than a pet peeve, but yeah. I hate being lied to. Just be straight up with me. I don't even care to know this, but uh, did you ever hook up with anyone within the cheer world? <laughs> don't lie. No. How long did you cheer for? 14 years. 14 years. No, I did not. Did not. 
Really? <laughs> it's not really. Just... <laughs> 14 years? Um. No. No, I did not. No. Why did you stop cheer? Because I graduated. And I aged. Well, I guess maybe they're asking why did I not cheer in college. Yeah. Well, I stopped cheer in the first place because I graduated and I aged out so I couldn't be on senior elite anymore. And then, I mean, I could have been on the international team, I guess, but I just was busy in school. I was a student full time and did not have time. How many kids do you want? And if you could choose the genders, what would they be? I would say right now, I would want, no, not right now, <laughs> but like in my head. Oh, okay, girl. <laughs> um, I would say I would want three kids. And I would like, eee, that's hard. I feel like I would be happy with anything as long as I had at least one boy and one girl. Yeah. But it could go both ways. Cause boys would probably be easier. So it'd be cool to have two boys and then one cute little girl. <laughs> but, I but it would be also really cute to have like two girls and like one boy I could protect the girls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a good one. You ready? If you could say anything to your ex, what would it be? Anything to my ex? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone? Did <laughs> 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 you say that? <laughs> leave me alone. Probably what I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you could say anything to my ex, what would it be? <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> Um, if I can say anything to Skylar's ex, that's hard because I don't know which ex we're talking about. I would just, if, if I could say something to any of, to all of Skylar's exes, I would say thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> for giving him to me. <laughs> Good answer. All right, that was it. Good job, baby. Want to be honest. Yeah, thank I you. I think you're honest. I was honest. No, I don't know for sure. I was honest. You don't believe? I believe. You me. know, I'm I'm the most honest person you'll ever meet. Yeah, you're right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's probably a lot more than I. They could have been juicier. You we usually way would juicier. share. Because <laughs> I know I'm gonna get some judgment. It's all right. I don't really it's care. Right. Make sure you're entered in to our giveaway. Giving away a beat solo pill. He always does this every single time, it's like a it's a little pill. hamburger. It's a pill. Everybody knows what that means. <laughs> so you gotta be following. 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 She's always making fun of me. Oh my god, you gotta be following everybody. I'm country. Following. Following. Follow. That's boring. Okay, who do you have to follow? You gotta be following <laughs> me and E on Instagram, and you gotta be subscribed. Third step is make sure you have your post notifications turned on. To do that, you hit that bell button and you will have your post notifications turned on. We will be choosing the winner of the giveaway once we hit 2,500 subscribers. We just recently hit 2,000. We're so excited and thank you guys so much for all the support yes, that you, thank you always show us. We are curious to know what some of you guys' goals are in 2019. We have some pretty big goals set for 2019. Oh yeah, they gotta be big. Move to Cali. Our New Year's resolution is to, by 2020, hopefully be in California. Mm -hmm. It's gonna happen. Yeah, we got it. We're gonna crush it, baby. Me, Skylar, and the babies. Oh. Remy and Chloe. Our little we, family. We want them to have a nice backyard. They can run around and play. Welcome on the beach. Aww. So we want to hear you guys' goals. So leave them in the comments. All right. We thank you guys for watching. But we really hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> because that was a lot for me to share with you guys. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Okay. Make sure you leave your comments of your New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. And we will see you guys next time. Hope you have a blessed day. Peace out. Peace out, you guys. Ew. <laughs> Too much. <laughs>